Today our sharing is from Prophet Isaiah chapter number 2, verse 1, 5. So we are looking at hope. Oh, what comes to mind when you hear the word hope? The word hope simply means that the general feeling that something there will be fulfilled. Some desire will be fulfilled. Your desire to build a house, your desire to get married, your desire to buy a car. So you start developing desire. You still build the desire. You start planning with desire. I want to achieve this on such and such a, 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 a time. In spite of troubles like King David, King David faced a lot of troubles in life, but he never gave up. No, he continued, he continued. Hoping for that fulfillment. He was in the most of the world that is fighting with animals. He built hope. He was using the bare hands of killing lions. So he built hope. So he came out. According to Isaiah, Isaiah had to reveal the fire of God's purpose for his people. Reveal. He revealed the fire of God's purpose for his people. When the nations will carry to man his ways are not on the way, especially the nation of Judah and Canada. Hard purpose. So they came, their senses, their understanding, and they started learning the will of God. They started learning the purpose of God. They started learning the commands of God. They started learning the laws of God. But as to say, it shall come. To pass the later days. The later days is an expression for the future beyond the horizon. It is an expression, something which expresses. I am expressed. <coughs> you know, we start to follow it. Your expression for the future, exploration. Expo if we also have for your goal for the achievements. So after Isaiah saw this from God, he has to be to the people of Judah and Jerusalem. And we confirm from the front of chapter 4. Verse 71. Deuteronomy chapter number 4. Verse 71. There are things that we find are good in this part. But it's not things that the Lord has proposed for us. When you are in tribulation and all the things come upon you, the later days, you thank the Lord, your God, and be obedient to His voice. To the Lord, your God, the Master God, He will not fail you or destroy you, or forget the covenant, the covenant of your fathers, which is for them. But in the later days, 
is an expression. In the later days, people turn back to the Lord. When they face troubles, when they face challenges, when they see the, when the city of Judah, or the nation of Judah, face the Lord challenges of voices from God, not hearing from God, every time challenges, they decided to come back to the Lord. They decided to come back to the God of Jerusalem. When it troubles, we need to turn to the Lord. When we face challenges, when we face confusion in our families, in our presence of war, we need to make a total turn to the Lord. Because Lord is a master God. He is a faithful Father. He is a loving Father. He never forgets his covenant. Our grandfather Abraham made a covenant with God. And we are going to that Abraham will have many descendants. You are going to have many generations. And that's why we are alive because our genealogy started from the Abraham. Your genealogy started from Abraham. The genealogy of Jesus Christ when you read, the foundation is from Abraham. Because God made a covenant with him. He is a master. He will never abandon us. He will, he will not he will not destroy. He will never forget his covenant. In our family, we have lost hope. In our family, we have lost hope. In our relationship, we have lost hope. It is something God is coming out to have lost hope. But we need to turn to the Lord. Because our God is obedient. And we need to be obedient to His voice. In your family as an individual, there are a lot of challenges. You need to make a total return to the Lord because He is a master God. He will not destroy. He is a faithful Father. You need to continue making a covenant with Him. The personal covenant, the family covenant with God. Because he is a faithful God. The children of Jerusalem continue making a covenant with him. They serve him faithfully than the city or the nation of Judah. First of all, what do you mean? For the Lord your God is the master of God. Go back to Isaiah. Go back to Isaiah. Verse 3. And many people shall come and say, Come. Let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. To the house of the Lord of Jacob. That we may teach us his ways. And that we may walk in his path. For out of thy eyes shall go forth the Lord of destruction. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And many people shall come. And that's the city of Judah, or the nation of Judah. They live that out of Zion and the Lord. The Gentiles will abandon all gods for the true God. The nation of Judah, they serve small gods, they create their own images, they serve the stones, they stars, their moons. Every image 
knowing because for them they believe they believe seeing God physically. So they wanted to, to worship mountain which they can see. You say that God is spirit. No. They wanted to see. So they, they had to make him come and say, Oh, come. They said, Come, let us go to the mountain of the Lord. And that's the reason they told the city. If I may ask you, who among you was just the devil's one of God as a worship? What, is there anyone who was just to come here today? No! Because you are a chosen Jerusalem. You are a chosen nation, a movable nation. You had this mind that today is the day of the Lord. I have to go to this mountain. I have to go to the church to worship me because of his good deeds to me. The same come, it just go to the mountain of the Lord. The house of the God of Jacob. Jacob came in the twelve tribes. Jacob means Israel. Where the twelve tribes came from because of this, the twelve children. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Why did they, they why did they say that that they got and go to the house of the mount to the, to the mountain of the Lord? Because God teaches us what to do. Because the God of Jerusalem told the children of Judah what to do. The children of Judah learned the character of the children of Jerusalem. So they said, no, let us come. Let us go. Because God teaches us what to do. God leads us in the righteous path. We may walk in his path. He teaches us to walk in the righteous path. 